Hey, everybody, this is Beast. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Scotty Allen Day. I got my notes here. And I, what can you get for $100 on Timu? Uh, is it all uh, garbage? Or can you get some legit goodies for about 100 bucks? Well, today we're going to see what I got for $100 off of Timu. So the first thing that I would say that I put, purchased was this uh, little circle lamp. You can see it's already out of the package, and I've already used it several times. The only bad part is, is right here, where the buttons are, there's no cover. But it works, and it works wonderful. It's, it's a great reading light. It is something that, you know, I can actually use for quite a bit, quite a bit. And it works really, really well. Is it worth the price that I paid for it? I think it was about seven bucks. And I think it's probably okay. Uh, if I would have paid any more for it, I would have returned it because of the cover that's not on the buttons. Alright, the second one is, is this uh, Amethyst Pyramid. Uh, my wife has fall, absolutely fell in love with this. And it's a little, uh, it's a little Amethyst Pyramid with uh, gold flakes. And, uh, I mean, it, it looks really, really nice. Uh, you, got, you got the third eye on there. She likes to collect stuff like that. Alright, the next thing that I'm kind of disappointed with is this, uh, what, what you would probably call an altar, but both my wife and I agree that this is far from being an altar because it is so small that uh, I'd be afraid to put even that uh, even that pyramid on there. I'm trying to put it together here for just so I can show you. One second here. I probably have to edit out the, the gap. There it is. Judge by the size of my by the size of my head. That this is that little altar thing that they have on there. They have a dragon on there. I was going to try and get the dragon, but you can't. You, you can't even put uh, an incense on there. You can only put like a candle and then hang your uh, necklaces or your uh, amulets off of it. I wouldn't even buy it if if they put it back up there and they put it on sale. I wouldn't buy it again. This is just garbage, according to me. This, these, I bought several times. Uh, in the past and they work extraordinarily well and it is a solar power bank for your cell phone and you have two flashlights that are on there that are very bright uh, I like using these power banks mainly so I can have one in my truck and I always keep it charged at all times because you never know when you need a flashlight and you never know if you need to be able to charge your phone uh, the amount of power that you get out of one of these solar power banks, you could charge, I could do a continuous charge for about six hours on my phone in addition to what I have uh, when I have a fully charged phone. I can go for about another six hours on top of that just by plugging this in and running it while the power is running there. Makes everything go. I mean, I was playing uh, some kind of uh, Shadow Legends type uh, game on uh, on the uh, cell phone, and you know, listening to music at the same time, and it just did a wonderful job, just keeping enough power because I had like a a span of ten hours that I had to uh, entertain myself. Don't forget, I was driving a charter bus, and I was pretty much it. I'm really disappointed in this. They said this is a wood carving set. And on Timu, it said that this was used for wood lathes. But these are a bit too small for a wood lathe. And I think if I even tried to attempt to use this on a wood lathe, that uh, they would splinter. They would splinter, and I would probably have, uh, I'd probably lose an arm and a leg. Arm and a leg. I'd probably lose a few fingers, not an arm and a leg. This right here is a measuring tool that you go right on the top of your uh, on top of your boards or two by fours, four by fours, just to be able to align holes. 
Uh, I kind of needed it for a straight edge and for a 45 degree angle. Uh, I'll probably play around with this later on when I get my when I get my wood shop up and going. This will be a fun tool to be able to play with. Uh, and we'll see if we can't make a better tool uh, than what we have right here with this little plastic thing that was uh, obviously 3D printed. Alright, so the next thing that we have right here is a laser light show. Uh, so far I've only been able to get it to go in uh, red and green. Red and green, red and green. It does starbursts. It's kind of, it's really cool. It's like you're sitting in a, in a room uh, with fireworks going off and it drives dogs crazy. And uh, they had a great time playing around with the light, with the laser light. The next one here, I'm a little bit disappointed in because I wanted to have something that I can actually plug into uh, my uh, my camera and then use it as a wireless mic and instead this is just a wireless mic for a cell phone I haven't even opened the package I'll probably give it to my daughter or my son and they'll probably play around with it after that uh, this right here this next item is a black light it works very well it gets very hot after a while and I'll show you the reason why I got the black light if I can be able to find it right now but we'll wait now this right here brings back a lot of memories and if you can actually see, if I can get some focus, these are those uh, little charms that you can put onto your uh, crocs. And back in the 80s and 90s, these used to be about 10 times that size. And we used them as pencil erasers in school. And I was kind of disappointed because I thought I was going to get a big pack of pencil erasers. And then I could be able to just talk a little bit about it. But, uh, you know, basically we used these as pencil erasers and they traded these like crazy in school. This was like, this was like a second best fidget that we had when we were in school. Uh, when somebody needed an eraser, the teachers had these by the dozen. And if you needed an eraser, she'd reach into the drawer and hand it an eraser. And these were also great prizes for uh, teachers handing to students for a job well done. And, uh, you know, I remember my teachers doing this for us quite, quite often. And we really enjoyed that. That just kind of uh, gave us an incentive to work a little bit harder and do a little bit better. Do, do better. And right here is the Harry Potter sorting hat. I couldn't resist when I saw it, and it is a wonderful little piece, and I'm going to probably put it on a keychain eventually uh, when I start talking about keychain collections from back in the 80s. Uh, and those were those were a big thing. Was I mean, we had keychains up to, up to wazoo. Now, the next one right here, this is a 300-pound fishing magnet. Now, I want to kind of put this to the test today for this uh for this particular video and we're going to put it together we're going to assemble it and then we are going to kind of test it a little bit because it's supposed to have a 300 pound pull now 300 pound pull that's about the weight of a person and uh, according to Timu it is a 300 pound pull and a 300 pound pull that's a lot of weight and you know it's obviously a lie and we're gonna just show you by comparison just how big this 300 pound weight magnet is and right now I'm just putting it together you can barely see it on camera I mean this is a laughing matter this is a joke why are they put advertising something for 300 pounds when it's this big. Now, imagine a kitchen spoon. Okay, you can hold a kitchen spoon, but I can take the way I can take the magnet right off. Uh, I mean, it's ridiculous. This is not a 300 pound magnet, people. Never have, well, never have, never will. I pulled it off with just barely any, any, uh, any force. And then I got this little treasure chest right here. This, uh, probably about 95 cents my wife absolutely loves it she's keeping her favorite stickers that she's stealing from my sticker reviews and well I love her anyways
All right, so we got uh, sticker reviews coming up. We got lots of stickers. A lot of these I, I got potion bottles. I got uh, different funny quotes and sayings. I uh, got more rock and roll. Got more rock and roll. I got uh, little uh, charms. If you guys want to, if you guys see anything that you guys want me to do the review on, as far as these stickers, as I'm just flashing them. Uh, I got some uh, hot rod gasser. I got some more inspirational quotes. If you guys want me to do any of those, I'll do those. Uh, right here, I got I got tattoo stickers. But that's probably going to be a really fun uh, video. And I got other stickers to be able to go. And more stickers. I have fun doing the sticker reviews, so I'm sorry if I bore anybody on sticker reviews, but you know, those are fun. Those are something that I can be able to actually just go through and enjoy doing with you guys. This right here are uh, corner uh, braces for when you want to try and do some kind of joinery. This, uh, I don't know what this is. What did I order? Well, we're going to go through and we're going to see exactly what I ordered. Oh, and by the way, uh, I also have other news. Okay, these seem to be like uh, router bits for a, for a Dremel. That's exactly what it was. So I ordered some router bits for my Dremel so I could be able to do uh, wands later on. But it doesn't really look like I'm going to be able to do much with these. These are just so microscopic that you're talking about precision work and when you're doing something like wands you don't really need precision work okay we got a wood burning pen man i've never seen a wood burning pen that small before let's take a quick look Okay, we're gonna have to try and put that to the test because these are tiny. I wonder if they ran on batteries or disposable. Has anybody bought any before? They don't look like they could do anything very much. Right here is what you call a uh, drill stop. You put this over the drill. And then you tighten the tighten the nut, and uh, when you're pushing down on the drill, it'll stop it right there to where you don't end up going too far. You, like if you're doing a chamfer or countersink, uh, this will help prevent the drill bit from going down further than what you want it to go. Uh, that's very vital in uh, woodworking. Uh, let's see what else do I have here. I think I just about went through everything for this Timu Hall. Yep, I did. So, what do you guys think of the of the haul? I mean, I know I got a few more things that I did purchase, but I can't find them. Uh, there's one that was a uh, a fire crystal. That, that was the reason why I got the black light, but the fire crystal's missing. And uh, that's the end of that. Timo Hall. So, what do you guys think of the Timo Hall? And if I, if you want me to do another Timo Hall later on, uh, what kind of a Timo Hall do you want me to do? Uh, I've just got basic stuff to where you can look at, you know, different things from different perspectives of uh, of what Timo has to offer, and you know, just sharing something with you guys. I really enjoyed doing that. I know it was quite quick. Uh, if you guys want me to do sticker reviews, I could do. I have enough stickers here to where I could do a whole week worth of reviews. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments in the comment section below. Uh, if you want me to do some sticker reviews, I'll do some sticker reviews. If you uh, want me to uh, go a little bit more in detail with some of the uh, items that I've got, let me know in the comments. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss another video. Until next time, keep on rocking.